First thing you're going to do is go to bit.ly slash SE3D startup. From there, you'll click on SE3D startup guides and then programs to download. I'm on a PC, so I'm going to click on PC version. And then you'll go ahead and download and extract the print run win slicer zip file. You can move the folder you extract from the zip file onto your desktop. The next thing you'll download is the configuration file for slicer. So you can go back to the main file, click on config files, and click on lotion.ini. You can download and save that. Once you've done both of those, you can open the print run win slicer folder that you moved onto your desktop. You can then open the slicer folder and click on the slicer application. From here, the slicer configuration wizard will pop up. You can go ahead and click next. The G-code flavor should be set to rep wrap. The bed size should be set to 200 by 200 millimeters. The nozzle diameter to 0.5 millimeters. The filament diameter to three millimeters. The extrusion temperature we're going to change to zero degrees Celsius. This is important because you don't want to melt the plastic syringe in your extruded. The bed temperature should also be set to zero degrees Celsius. You can then click finish. And it's just asking me if I want to download a new version of Slicer. I'm going to say no. From here, you're going to click on file and then preferences. We're going to change mode from simple to expert and click OK. It's saying that we need to restart Slicer to make the changes effective. So I'll just click OK and X out and reopen the application. Now when you open the preferences, it should be set to expert. We're going to go ahead and load our own configuration files. In, on the side panel here, you can see the print settings filament and printer are set to simple mode or it might say default as well. But we're going to load our own configuration. So you can go to file and then click on load config and you'll choose the lotion.ini file that you downloaded from the SE3D startup guide folder. Once you've loaded that, you can see that the print settings, filament, and printer are all set to lotion.ini. We're going to go through these tabs, each of the print settings, filament settings, and printer settings. Make sure that the dropdown is set to lotion.ini and click on the save button to the right of the dropdown. In filament settings, you can double check to make sure that all the temperatures here are zero. So now when you, you can close slicer and when you open it up, it should be set to have the lotion configuration file as the default, which you can see on the right here, the print settings filament and printer are all set to lotion. And when you go through the settings tabs, they are also set to lotion. So you should be good to go with slicer from there.